19-year-old Holly Burgard makes every kick count. Yep, open up. Good, Holly. Here we go, come on. Whether it's at practice at Messiah College or in a game. Holly has been kicking the soccer ball since she was five. She lived in Mechanicsburg and they had a rec league for her age and we just signed her up for it and she just fell in love with it. I think the thing with soccer is she had success early on as a small kid so that kind of fed her, her confidence. Holly quickly moved from a rec league to a travel team. It's fun. It's a stress reliever. You get away. I don't know. There's something about it. A very active child that wouldn't let anything slow her down. But her health was doing just that. Holly's parents were worried. She has a twin sister. And I noticed that her twin sister had gotten very tall compared to her. It was about eight inches difference in height and about 20 pounds difference. And that's not all. I think the first real kind of clue that we had had to do with her spending a lot of time in the bathroom. I can be like 10 times, eight times. Like there's just some days where like you just feel like you have to go. So you go to the bathroom, but then you don't have to go. So there's nothing there. These concerns led Holly and her parents to Penn State Hershey Medical Center. Doctors diagnosed Holly with Crohn's disease. She was 10 years old. It was like, um, okay, first of all, what is it? Crohn's disease um, involves inflammation, persistent or chronic inflammation, that can really occur anywhere from the mouth all the way to the anus. And this is a chronic illness that is not curable. So this is a lifelong illness that people have to deal with that often has a very up and down uh, disease course with periods where people are feeling very well and then periods where uh, patients can, can flare and have significant symptoms. Often we'll see diarrhea. So the patient will go to the bathroom many more times than they normally would. Their bowel movements are very loose. It was very scary because you just don't know what's going to happen. Doctors treated Holly with steroids to quiet the disease. Then she received infusions of the drug Remicade to keep the disease under control. So patients will come in uh, once they're on a regular schedule, usually every eight weeks, and are hooked up to an IV pole, and will get the drug infused. You sit in like a infusion room, but it's kind of like a playroom for kids, and there's big comfy chairs, and you can watch movies, play board games, color, anything you could really imagine. You just don't even really know the medicine's going in. The medicine not only treated Holly's symptoms, but gave her a better outlook on the disease. I think one of the big things is when I had infusions, like I, it wasn't just people for like Crohn's disease or little things like me. Like there was pe like kids dying of cancer in there, and you sit there and you're like, oh my gosh, they have it so much worse than me. Like I have no reason to feel sorry for myself. A very wise attitude for someone so young. For the next eight years, the Remicade infusions worked. Inside plant, change the direction, lower the hips, good. Holly's soccer career soared as she joined the girls soccer team at Messiah. This past December, the team won the national title for Division Three girls soccer. You can just never dream of being there. And then when you're actually there, and you actually win it, it's just amazing. It was just so exciting and, you know, I could jump up and down right now, I'm so excited. <laughs> but it was very exciting and to know that she was part of it. Shortly after the win, Holly became ill. She actually did come down with the flu. After that, she just didn't get better. Between January and Easter time period, we just saw a dramatic reduction, not only in energy, but a dramatic reduction in her weight. I believe she lost 20, 25 pounds in a very short period of time. That was obviously a clue. Something more than the flu is going on. We then performed a colonoscopy. I was floored, to be honest, and I was very upset because she had one of the sickest colons that I've ever seen, very deep, nasty ulcerations, the medication had stopped working. Unfortunately, what we see with all of these medicines um, that are like Remicade, 
that the body can develop a, a resistance, if you will, to the drug. And so that really stops the medicine being as effective as it once was. So at that point, uh, you know, we knew that we needed to make some changes and, and make them quickly because just the way it looked, I was concerned that no medication was going to work for it at that point. And I actually consulted with one of our special IBD surgeons here. So Holly and her parents met with IBD surgeon Dr. Walter Colton. Because she had done so poorly with all the other medicines that um, we had to start making plans for the possibility that those med the newer medicines would not work either. And then the next step would be surgery, and surgery would involve removing her colon. I was shocked, but in the back of my mind, I was just thinking, like, if it's meant to happen that way, it's going to happen that way, and there's not much I can control about it. Before setting a date for surgery, doctors wanted to try one more medication. So we started the Humira, which is an injectable medication. It's like a self-injection into your thigh every two weeks. Within a matter of weeks, you know, she was feeling better. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I started gaining the weight back. You started getting the energy back. You started like losing the soreness in your body and things like that. Holly went from being one step away from a life-changing surgery to kicking and passing the soccer ball with her teammates again. Yeah, that's the touch, good. For her at this time, it's been a miracle. I'm so proud of her. I'm just so happy that she's able to do what she loves to do. Just lucky to be out here and still playing, doing something I love, and that I have to make the best of every chance that I have to play because I don't know when it could be taken away. 